What's up guys, my name is Vincent and today I wanna to show how to use basic math to calculate dividend payments for stocks. For the record, I am not a financial advisor. I'm just purely looking at how you could use basic math to calculate dividend payments. So the question is, how much money would you have to invest in AT&T stock to receive $100 a month, then $200 a month, and then $1,000 per month? And the formula that we're gonna use here is to calculate the amount we have to invest, we're gonna look at what is the profit we wanna make per year, and we're gonna divide that by the dividend interest. So let's take a look at AT&T's information. Okay, so we're on Yahoo Finance here, and this is the page for AT&T stock. And what we wanna look at here is the dividend yield, and they offer a 6.98% interest rate for their dividends. But what we're going to assume for this problem is let's just assume that the stock price is going to go sideways. In the last 52 weeks or the last year, this stock has gone from 2608 to 3970. And has trended downwards. You know, since the coronavirus pandemic hit, we uh, were at a price here close to the 52 week high. And then it went all the way down here close to the 52 week low. Um, but so we'll just assume that it's going to go sideways. But we don't know if it could go up, down, or sideways. No one can predict that. Okay, so moving on here, let's calculate how much we have to invest. So the profit that we're looking to make, and let's look at the first scenario here, the $100 per month. If we want to make $100 per month, that's the equivalent of making times 12. That's $1,200 per year. Okay, so to calculate how much we have to make per year, just multiply the dollar amount by 12. But then the interest for AT&T, we saw it from Yahoo Finance, is 6.98%. So we'll just record that here. And as a decimal, you could always just drop the percent and divide by 100. As a decimal, this is 0 0.0698. So then all we have to do to calculate how much money we need to invest is we're going to divide the profit we want to make per year by the interest rate. So if we do that, the amount we have to invest, we're going to look at 1200 divided by 0 0.0698. So then all you'd have to do, you're just going to type this into a calculator. So this tells us that we would have to invest $17,191.98. So we'll say uh, the first amount that we have to invest. Now for the next question here, we want to look at how much do we have to invest to make $200 a month. Well there's going to be a direct relationship here and you might notice a bit of a shortcut to this over time. But if we look at the second amount that we have to invest, we take the profit that we're gonna make per year. And if we wanna make $200 a month, that corresponds to $2,400 per year. If we just take 200 and multiply by 12. So it's the same idea as before, but now we're just doing 2,400 divided by 0 0.0698. And if you work that out, it's gonna be 34, let's just get the dollar sign there so the units make sense. So we've got $34,383.95. And then for the last one, for the $1,000 per month, now we're interested in making $12,000 per year. If you just take 1,000 and multiply by 12, that's $12,000 for the year. And we're dividing that by 0 0.0698. So if you work this out, you would have 100 Let's get our dollar sign, $171,919.77. So this is just to give you a rough idea. Call this like napkin math. 
that if you wanted to make this much money per month from your dividends, then this is how much money you'd have to put up to receive that, assuming that the stock price is going sideways. And the reason I mention this, let's say you were to pick a company like Blockbuster. I'm not sure if they did pay dividends to the stockholders, but if you were to put all your money on a company like this, obviously this would have turned out terribly for you. So looking at the next scenario, how much money would you have to invest in SPHD to receive that same amount of money? And this time around, uh, a little background, SPHD is a ETF, which the quick explanation for this here, an ETF, an exchange traded fund, this particular one covers 50 stocks at once. So if one of your 50 companies were Blockbuster, you still have 49 other companies to back you up. Okay, so we're here on the page for SPHD and this exchange traded fund is less riskier than AT&T because it's spread out over 50 stocks. Remember, if you're choosing an ETF, chances are it is gonna be less risky, but that, that does not mean that there is no risk. I mean, if you look here, back in mid, late February, the uh, ETF here was trading close to its 52 week high of 44.42, but then coronavirus pandemic hits and third week of March, we're down close to the 52 week low of 25.38. So these are not risk free, but they are generally less risky than single stocks. But we are gonna use this information here. We're gonna use the dividend yield of 5.62%. And since we have to pay an expense ratio, we're gonna subtract the expense ratio from the dividend yield. And we're gonna use that value to calculate how much we have to invest to make 100, 200, and $1,000 per month. Okay, so let's define our variables here. For the first scenario, the profit we're looking to make per year is $1,200 for the year. This is for the $100 a month situation here. And the interest rate, well, what we just said a moment ago is we have to consider that the interest rate was 5.62%. However, we have to subtract the expense ratio of 0.30% because that's the fee for managing this fund. And when we do that, we'll have a net rate of 5.32%, which if we, exp if we express this as a decimal, that's 0 0.0532. So, the first amount that we need to invest for the $100 a month, we're just gonna do the problem 1200 divided by 0 0.0532. And if you work that out, that's just a simple math for a calculator. We have to invest 22,556 and 39 cents. Okay, so compared to the last value, you could already see to make $100 a month with this fund, we have to invest more money, but for less risk, we are spread out over 50 companies, we're gonna have to put more money up front. So that's where you know, the personal decision of the investor comes in. If you could tolerate more risk, some people would rather just put it all on AT&T, whereas if you want less risk, you spread, out, you spread it out over 50 companies in something like SPHD. And there are other ETFs that spread it out over even more companies. So if, you, if this is too risky for you, you could pick one that's spread out over 200 companies, but then you would have a lower interest rate. Okay, so for the next amount, so now we're looking at for $200 a month, that means we're making $2,400 for the year and we're dividing by the interest rate 0 0.0532. So the dollar amount we would have to invest for $200 a month would be 45,112 and 78 cents. Okay, and for the last one here to make $1,000 per month, once again, that corresponds to making $12,000 for the year and at an interest rate of 0.0532, you do the division, we would have to put up 
quite a bit of money. 225,000. 563 and 91 cents. Okay, well, this is going to conclude this video. If you found this video helpful, please click on the like and subscribe button below. It'll really help me grow this channel. And if you have any requests for future videos, which topics you'd like me to cover, leave that in the comments section below. And thank you for watching.